So you want to start playing Axie Infinity. You're in the right place. Getting into Axie is super easy. Head to welcome.axieinfinity.com. I'll provide the link in the description for you. You can go through these steps, but you don't need an account to play Axie Infinity. You can go straight to the download step to start playing the game. The Mavis Hub is a game distribution platform. It's like Valve, Steam, EA Sports Origin, or the Epic Games Launcher. In the future, it will host many games related to the Sky Mavis universe. Once you download it, open up the game for the first time. You can log in with your current Sky Mavis information or choose to play as a guest. That's about it to get into the game. There are some extremely helpful tutorials in the game and I have a full beginner series going over how to play, so you should be good once you're there. But what about all these cute little axes? Axie are a type of NFT or non-fungible token that you can purchase for many uses throughout the Axie Infinity universe. These go for $3 all the way up to $100,000 or more. So you can expect to find a range of quality on the marketplace. Since these items are owned by individual people, the marketplace is an open market. That means people like you and me dictate how much each Axie costs. It is very similar to a stock market exchange, but way different. If you're new to Web3, I highly encourage going through my content to get a better understanding. It has been amazing to see the transition of the marketplace over the years. The Axie ecosystem has also had its ups and downs. No matter when you get into Axie, just know that the price of access can fluctuate. With that said, let's get into the fun. Axies have a lot of special traits that give them value. Since much of the money you can make from Axie Infinity comes from the arena and competitive modes, you can imagine that Axie parts with high advantage against other players are the highest on the market. Axie Infinity has always had an aggressive strategy towards building its esports scene. Majority of the money given back out to players has been through tournaments. This doesn't mean that Axie Infinity is immune to the curse that inflicts all esports scenes though. Metas shift. Balancing a game is hard, just ask Overwatch. Scott Mavis has done a lot to balance Axie Infinity over the years, but with true monetary value backing each asset, you can imagine how much more complex the issue can get. Thankfully, the team behind Axie has become more responsive to feedback over the years. Many of the updates to the game and meta will go through a review phase for everyone to prepare for a shifting meta. All this said, you can imagine why studying and learning about the game can be both daunting and rewarding. The prize pool for the last season of Axie Infinity version 2 was $6 million. Finding good Axie for battling against other trainers is fun, but there are also other reasons to do so. Each Axie is a key to a new experience. One thing that sets Axie apart from other projects is that your Axie can be used in other games. For example, I'm going to shamelessly plug my own game that I'm making for the Axie Infinity Builders program. It's called Arcadian Rhythm. In my game, your Axie will have certain abilities based on your Axie parts, just like in Axie Infinity Origin. There are other games being built that have similar concepts. Another reason might be for breeding events. Certain times during the year, the Sky Mavis team will reward players by offering special versions of Axie through breeding. An event is happening right now known as Lunancia Summer that offers you special Axie skins. This just means there are lots of factors that can go into why you would buy a certain Axie. Remember to keep researching and learning about the ecosystem to make the best purchase. As a last bit of advice, if you're interested in seeing what kind of Axie the top players in the competitive version of the game are using, you can use tools like tracker.axie.management to see what some of the top players are using. In future videos, we're going to break down why these builds work and do some theory crafting to see affordable versions on the market. Be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when that video drops. Wait, you're still here? Aren't you playing Origins? Hmm. Well, there isn't much more to getting started in the game. Oh, you already played and you want to know how to cash out. Well, that's easy enough. There are several ways for you to turn your earnings into real money. When I say earnings, I assume you have some SOP and AXS ready to cash out. To check, go to the Axie Marketplace and log into your running account. If you haven't made an account yet, you should go ahead and create one so you have somewhere to store your earnings. I'm sure you have already done so if you're wondering how to cash out. The key to cashing out is turning your SOP and AXS into a currency that does not fluctuate. First, head over to Katana. Katana is the DEX that powers the Ronin network. I have an entire video going over it, but with this tool, you can convert your earned tokens into something called USDC. This is a stable coin that matches the US dollar one to one. That means that it will never go up or down in value once you hold this token. This is a great way to ensure that you don't lose money when you earn SLP. 
Once you have some USDC, there are a few ways to cash out. The easiest way is to go to Binance and transfer your USDC to your Binance account over the Ronin network. You can also transfer your AXS or SLP this way, but it's easier to just transfer USDC. Always make sure you're using the Ronin network when transferring any assets from your Ronin wallet to Binance. Alternatively, you can bridge your money over from Ronin to a MetaMask wallet. I also have a video going over MetaMask, but it is one of the most popular cryptocurrency wallets there are. To send money over to your MetaMask wallet, you have to use the Ronin bridge. This is another tool similar to Katana, but it lets you send money outside of your Ronin wallet into another wallet for a fee, of course. This fee goes back into the games being developed and back into the player's pocket. Using the bridge, you can send your AXS, SLP, or USDC, or any token, to your MetaMask. You can also send these tokens to other exchange wallets like Coinbase or Crypto.com. And that's it. Hit that like button and press that big red subscribe button to see more of my videos in the future. You won't regret it. As always, I love you guys, and keep going.